Assalamu alaikum dear friends welcome back to server designing and civil 3d video series by Murad Farooq dear friends today video tutorials we will explain with very details how to import google earth surface to autocad civil 3d so in this process first of all we will mark our area in google earth and we will save this file in kmz or kml then we will import this to global mapper in this tutorial i will show the basic details and explanation regarding the google earth global mapper and autocad civil 3d so let's start first of all we need to go to this tool option and we will change our coordinate system from here the option if your coordinate system is in decimal degree or in any other system you need to convert it to utm coordinate system okay select this one option and click ok button no our system is Esting, northing and elevation as per utm coordinate system the next step we will add a polygon from this bar or you can go to temporary folder and go right click and you can select from here the polygon option so this two way you can choose the option to select and create a polygon so give the name here suppose i want to create the name is surface and from here you can change the style and color okay and from here you can select unit in which units you want to do your create your polygon suppose i select square and area will be in square meter so select your area in which area you want to create your polygon suppose i need to this area and i want to quick click here and i want to increase the thickness of the line so it will be visible very easily okay and press the ok button from here now our surface is here and the next step we will save this surface as a kml or kmz on any location okay save is on desktop suppose we need to save it on our desktop and close the option the next step we will minimize our google earth and go to global mapper let's open global mapper okay so global mapper is open let's close this pop-up menu from here and close also this one from here also you can open your data and also you can open the file from these two option let's suppose we need to open our file this one is our file which we recently create in google earth okay this one is our surface yes you can see now okay let's see the properties here you can see the properties uh, from here and also you can check the coordinate system from this place mark okay this thing nothing our system is in utm coordinate system okay let's go to this option from configure from here you can also you need to change the coordinate system from here okay go to the configure option and from here you need to search the option of projection let's check the projection option from here okay this one is our projection you can see our current system is in geographic coordinate system so we need to change this system to utm coordinate system because our file system is in utm coordinate system let's change this 
can't it okay click on UTM you can search here now you can see 38 zone and everything is picked by cell from the data which we import from Google Earth you can see the zone here also the zone is same as it is and the WGS 84 datum is same as it is okay so the next step we need to click on apply and okay now all both of coordinate system google earth and global mapper is same okay so now we will open this option download download line imaginary and we will connect this because once we connect this our surface will get all details from their contours and mean how much is uh, where is cut and where is fill we can see the properties from here okay you can see this is 74 meter is the high and as per color it's divided 60 and the end one you can see the blue area 47 meter but don't look at the surface center because this one we show in the google earth this one is our google earth uh, color okay so the same details for the contours cut fill and volumetric areas we will import to AutoCAD civil 3d okay so let's check this you can see the color don't look at the color the surface color is there same as it is because we select these colors from here from google earth okay don't think that the center of surface is 47 meter and the value this is the color from google earth okay yes this one and you can see the scale bar here from bottom and now the next step we will go to export this file from here go to the export option okay so in this we will select export elevation grid format because this one is the one of format which AutoCAD and Civil 3D is can open it is very easily so let's go and save this file as this one go to the option dem okay so this one is our option dem and press ok button and click again ok here so the next you need to give the name if you want to give name you can enter here and click ok button now select the location where you want to save your file then you can save there okay click on ok and the next option we will go to open or AutoCAD Civil 3D or just you can open AutoCAD but let's let me do in AutoCAD Civil 3D I want to go to open the file which I save from global mapper let's go to surface option from surface option you can see create surface from TEM let's go the option this one is our option let's open this one click and ok now enter command from your keyboard Z space bar and E space bar now you can see your surface is on the front page and you see your controls you can change the controls intervals styles anything you can change from here very easily let's select this one and go to this label option from yeah, this one you can add the labels from here suppose you want to add the labels from spot level slope any kind of label you can show on your control very easily once you select the command you need to follow the command bar it will be give you instruction what you need to do click 
you can see give the spacing between x spacing click suppose we need to give 5 and it will be create okay so next if you need to add if you need to add the labels again any label from here you select simply from the label option and click the area where you want to display the labels okay so okay now you can see your labels is here and you can select here control multiple and you can create this on your surface same okay you can see this is now created as per your requirement and you can use it is very easily okay the next we need to go to do some property basic setting for the control if you select the controls from here and go to surface property and from here you can see the different information and definition analysis and from here you can select the surface style suppose you need to select one meter and five meter or another one you can apply and you can change you can see this everything is changing as per your styling and you can apply here from here you can see this one is contour and triangle and if you need to select this one cut and fill so it will be look like that okay and the next if you select the option elevation banding and click on apply it will be look like here so the all detail is here in previous videos i already explained this option with very details this is just a look on the options and select this one and you can go to select the this one option slope elevation slope okay this one and click so we need to display border only it will be display only border and we need to go to our one meter and five meter background system okay so this is the basic setting and basic styling you can change as per your requirement and from here if you go to the definition you can see this uh, few settings so as per requirement you can change it easily from here data operations and you can get the details here some okay and if you go to analysis from analysis you can uh, add your own uh, legends and styling from by self manual creation okay and here is this option from statics you can see and you can see the minimum and maximum levels the details is here and min level it's show to you what is your details of your surface if you go to this option you can see your 2d and 3d surface and from grid you can select x spacing and y spacing how much you need you can adjust here okay so we need to let's bring up one meter and five meter and go to click on apply and okay now it will be apply and display here same as it is which we create and start if you go to edit surface style the next step from here you can change the colors uh, borders anything you can change you can go to controls option grid points and you can change this option from here easily so if we go to the control option from here we can uh, select the control ranges and from legend you can uh, select legend style and from the control intervals you can select how much you need uh, a ma minor and major control interval suppose we need to enter here two meters so you can see see on the surface it will be definitely change and again if you select uh, suppose if we need to select here 4 and it will be a major will be definitely 20 it's okay 
let me select this one and five <coughs> no it's change okay go to the control smoothing from here you can select the control smoothing but first you need to do to change the control false option into control true option then this thing will be able to moveable you can see it's not possible to move because we need to change this option here you can see this we need to select this true and it's will be ah sorry it's not selected okay go and select it true ah, no it's on you can make it smooth so if you go to end your control will be very smooth the edges and corners will be very smooth okay and apply it's changed definitely change you can see if you go to this option it will be same as it is before so keep it in the median so it will be okay and the next thing we need to click on apply and okay okay so we need to go to draw a alignment on the contour before i explain how to create alignment profile everything but just a oh look i want to explain here again you can see from here you need to select uh, proposed and and here are labels and click here now the pop-up menu is open we need to select this second option create with curve so create uh, your alignment here from this option and click 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 suppose we need a road in this area from here to here okay and click so now you can see your alignment is created in side your surface and this is on 20 20 meter interval and all other detail is displayed on your alignment if you want to learn how to create a basic and complete alignment i upload a lot of videos separately you can go to check in our playlist so the next on the same alignment i am going to show how to create a profile so select the surface or surface is dem file which we import from google mapper recently you can see the area of alignment we draw alignment so on the same alignment we will draw our profile and go to the next next option and next next and create profile so select the origin where you want to select your profile this one is our profile you can see your natural ground elevation is going like that okay and here is <coughs> if you go if you want to change uh, this styling or levels settings you can go to edit profile setting and from here you can go to easily the information or other setting if you go to profile view setting and from here you can select the band setting and if you have two profile suppose one you have ngl and design you can select from here but we have only one one uh, profile because uh, we still not create our design profile okay so this was is our tutorial which i try to explain i hope you guys is understand from and learn from this video you will see in the next tutorial Allah Nighawan, Assalamu Alaikum Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh.